Location-based marketing is being able to connect with the consumer in a meaningful way, in the right place, in the right time, with the right message. Throughout the day of an average consumer, we're constantly changing location, we're constantly changing the device, and we're constantly changing the media type that we're interacting with. What we have to look at as marketers is where are they, what device are they on, what media is in front of them, and how do we draw a line between those things. Global marketers who are doing business in developing nations, they have to bear in mind that already there are more mobile phones in those markets than there are computers, than there are televisions. This is going to be the best way to access the full opportunity of those markets by using location signals and location-based marketing to reach directly to those consumers via these devices. We think that location is the new cookie and as a marketer, location will be the kind of the atomic element of what drives marketing decisions in a mobile world. So there's three areas that we think there's opportunity for marketers when it comes to the location. The first is really about efficient media spend. So you can be much more targeted with digital through search, display, and video when you're looking at location. So location-based marketing, therefore, is really about data it's, and, and how we use that data to connect the user, the, the customer, the prospect, to the media that happens to be near them. The second is really about creating more relevant messages because you can make the content adapt to the environment somebody's in, whether it's on the sidewalk, in a cafe, at an airport. La Redoute is, a, is a, a quite an interesting way basically to marry digital technology and live content. In this particular case, the content is the weather. In the early morning of the day, it's raining, so the ad will actually show trench coats, umbrellas, boots, to walk under the rain. In Germany, there was a company that had a billboard that when you actually were at the billboard, you checked in on Foursquare, it actually dispensed dog food for, uh, you know, for that, <laughs> for, for, for use. It then allows you to connect with that merchant, so it connects people to, people to places, and it allows them that place to give some value back to the, to the user. The Mercedes campaign that took place in the uh, Berlin subway station uh, was quite unique, and here in this case, uh, the simple activation of pressing your own car key, it didn't have to be a Mercedes car key, it could be any car key, would actually send a signal that will actually trigger the ad to actually stop playing. The third opportunity is sales activation. So whether it's through in-store kiosks that help with guiding people in store, or whether it's through couponing that's uh, in the proximity of store, so you can get customers who might buy in one store to actually change their mind and come to your store. In Korea, uh, eMart just did this phenomenal campaign. You know, from an accessibility perspective, you can't, have a, you can't build a store everywhere. So they actually created a, uh, a Wi-Fi balloon, a remote control balloon, with a Wi-Fi router in it. You could fly this around the city in, in Seoul. But massive traffic in terms of sales uh, directly attributed to this thing. You're taking traditional media spend that the, you're already using. Why not embed a sensor? Why not embed an NFC tag? Make billboards more interactive, more engaging. You can move it beyond just general awareness. You can make events more social, more experiential by including things like Foursquare check-ins. You can make the experience in store much more actionable for consumers if there's a kiosk that can help them navigate and find items or reward them in the store by providing coupons. All of these elements of location-based marketing are critical and they're proving quite successful with consumers.